I'm thinking today that many of we intellectual giants, not we, but many intellectual giants, God's people has never been great intellectuals. The Bible said that the children of darkness is wiser in this world than the children of the light. God likened his people unto sheep. They're not smart and intelligent. He keeps them the way they are so he can lead them. If you try to use your own intellectual thinking, you can, you right then, bar out God. Sons of God are led by the Spirit of God. But it's a great intellectual day that we live in. Here a few months ago, you read it in the newspaper. Up in New York, they had a, a trial and two little preachers that felt led of the Lord some time ago. Little fellows about like myself that hardly know their ABC. And the Lord led them to the Bowery. And they bought a certain building. And there they was preaching the gospel to their fallen brethren. Some great firm comes to buy that. And all of them sold out. But these little preachers, they had a revelation that the Lord wanted them to stay there. So they helped their property and the authorities brought them into court. And they sent and got one of the great intellectual giants, Attorney Greenwall. And he made those little fellows feel ashamed of themselves. He placed his word so correctly and so uh, educational-like and in such a way that those little fellows didn't know how to answer him. For he was an intellectual giant. One of the best attorneys there is in this, in New York. And they had the little fellow so confused, they didn't know what to say. Finally, he rapped and said, what do you say for yourself? And one of the little preachers got up and held the other one's hand. And he said, sir, the only thing that we know that the Lord told us to take the building and Attorney Greenwald said, Here, stop that. We don't want no Lord in on this case. About two weeks later, an airplane tried to go under the bridge and it dove into the icy waters. There, Attorney Greenwald laying in the water, struggling and dying. I wonder if he wanted God on that scene. What was the matter? He hadn't discerned the body of the Lord for those little preachers was anointed by the Holy Ghost and had the will of God. We don't need to be intellectual giants. We need to be humble servants of the Lord and discern His body. All of His smartness and His shrewdness and His education you know, the Bible said it is better for you that a millstone was hanged at your neck and you be drowned in the depths of the sea than to offend my anointed. Well, I suppose he had a lot of time to think of calling the Lord on the scene. But he didn't discern the body of the Lord. Sometimes I wonder if we intellectual Americans has enough discernment to discern right from wrong. 